All right. Yep. All right, quick warm up. So we're going to start with some neck rolls, all right? We're going to go 10 to the right. And we're going to just go 10 to the left. Just spread it out just a little bit. Yeah, let's go arm circles. Here, boom. 10 forward, 10 backwards. Going small to big. Jacob keeps trying to touch me. I'm putting that out on the record. <laughs> we have our little bromance going, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bang, bra jump. So we're just gonna test out explosion here, okay? So, and for obviously explosion going forward here. All right, so don't want moving of the heels, okay? So for here, I see that heel move, and we're jumping, scratch, all right? So boom, it's gonna be tall. Arms down and up, land. He's gonna measure whatever heels in the back. Boom, that's what you got. I'm gonna step away, and, <laughs> and that's what we got, all right? So if you fall back, so one more, boom. I'm going here, I land, move, rep doesn't count, all right? We're good, fellas? Straight, here we go. All right, so vertical, same thing, similar to the broad jump, but we're testing the explosion from the legs, obviously, in a vertical motion, all right? So, simple things, I'm gonna stretch your arm out, get your reach, I'm gonna measure you from there, I'm gonna adjust this up or down, and then from here, boom, we're gonna be here, stretched out, I'm gonna go down, up, soft touch. All right. Not too shabby. Not too shabby for a lot more. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> 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 
tied the little guys. Throw a weight vest on these dudes. So, 5-10-5 drill. We're gonna face the camera. 5 to 5 is just, uh, it's a drill that NFL scouts use, college scouts use to test the quickness of an athlete, all right? So, you wanna stagger this line, we're gonna be here right on top of it. You can put your right or left hand down, doesn't matter. So, I will go right hand, I'm gonna go here, boom. Right hand touch, sprint through, left hand touch, finish through the line, boom, and that's when we'll stop the watch. Guys, next event, we're gonna do a 40 yard sprint, but with a soccer ball, Luis. All right, we're gonna run, as the ball's gonna start here on the line. You're gonna kick it off the line. You have to stay within these cones. You have to go through the next cone. So if it goes out the cone, it's allowed to go out the cone, but you have to at least make it go back through the cone, right? If I go past the cone, outside, I have to stop it Reverse back and go through the cone, right? Okay? You must hit it every 10 yards. So it must be one hit for every, uh, for every cone that you see. It has to be one hit. So you have to have at least one, two, three, four hits before you finish the 40 yard sprint. And time stops when you pass the last cone? Time stops when you pass the cone, not when the ball passes. So 30 yards, kick that bitch as hard as possible. No, you can't go 30 and kick the as hard as possible. <laughs> Soccer. Yeah, anything to do with soccer? No, I'm, I'm just gonna let that go. I, I, actually, I really suck at soccer. I, I got kicked out when I was about nine years old. The coach said I was too aggressive with the other kids when they would come after the ball. So I think, um, I think the last time I touched a soccer ball, I was nine.
Next event, we're gonna be uh, football accuracy passing, okay? We're gonna pass from five, 10, 15, and 20 yards. You're gonna have five passes from each. The ball mat must pass completely through this area. It can hit the ball and pass through. It can hit here and pass through as long as it passes all the way through. It can hit, okay? Um, we're gonna have, you're gonna have five passes at each one. It's gonna be one point for each pass at five yards, two points for each pass at 10 yards, three points for each pass at 15, four points for each pass at 20. <laughs> no, <laughs> could have thrown the football. Or catching it, actually. I strapped on pads and I ran around and I looked cute in small pants. I had a big butt and it was awesome. I looked good. What are you gonna say? Um, as far as placing goes, I didn't do so well. I came in fourth place. I think the events kind of went as planned, you know. Uh, 
I, I, any change of direction drills I didn't really do well in, but I'm the heaviest competitor here by over 50 pounds. Um, the guy that took first place is literally half my size. Eh, fue muy divertido estos dos días y pues gracias a Dios gané, que fue lo más importante. Eh, pensé que no iba a ganar al, a, al principio, pero pues pude dominar el resto de, de, de pruebas y, y pude ganar y sacar esto adelante. I gotta give mad props to Steve. That big man can move. Like he is like a moving, fast moving semi truck going downhill when he's sprinting or when he's jumping. I did not see him with that. Eh, me impresionó mucho Steve en el delif con el peso muerto. Eh, es un monstruo, un animal para para levantar peso, la verdad. We all sucked at batting and we all sucked at throwing. I just happened to be average at all of them and sucked more at basketball. So in the scheme of things, I'm pretty terrible at sports, which I already know. I'm hoping people don't read too far into this and try to compare the, the athletes too much. We all uh, do very well in our respected fields. To throw everybody in here together, it's like comparing apples and oranges. Sí, me gustó mucho estos, estos dos días eh, de competencias y y estar aquí también, ver las montañas, la gente, eh, cambio de clima, cambio de, de todo. La verdad que fue muy bacano, muy elegante, donde fuimos con Matt. Agradecerle mucho a Matt por todo lo que me ha ayudado. A Bruce también, a todos los compañeros que han estado conmigo, porque he aprendido muchas cosas de ellos y estoy muy agradecido con ellos. Y, y espero verlos nuevamente otra vez y Dios quiera podamos volver a competir juntos. It was fun hanging out with the guys. They were all super cool. It was, a, it was a fun time. It was a blast. So this was a blast to do. It's like two fun days of hanging out with three of the coolest people I've met. They're all professionals and all great at their sports. And it was just cool to see um, how the way we train can um, cross over into other events and how similar we are in um, our abilities, I guess. Even after not doing some things ever or um, in the last decade, we were still able to be competitive against one, one another. So that was um, an honor for Brute Strength to put this together with Bodybuilding.com. It's been a blast. Yeah, I'd like to thank Bodybuilding.com, Brute Strength, uh, my sponsor, Slingshot, sending us all out here. They're sending me out here and giving me an opportunity to compete with these guys. Cool. I have to go home. All right. Okay, bag. If I were to do this again, I would make them change um, some of the, the sports because I felt like they were slightly biased. Maybe a swimming contest would be better for you? Oh, I'm, I'm way better at a swimmer. We should have did maybe swimming, um, golfing, because everybody knows I'm a hell of a golfer, and tennis.